In my first video, we used EquaStructure Control Expert to create aliases for complex variables. Today, let's learn how to export those variables in a form that makes it easy to create aliases. From EcoStructure Control Expert, let's look at some I.O. So these I.O. modules are in a remote I.O. drop, and you see that the symbols here for each of them is just the complex data structure that is created when we drop those modules in place. From the data editor, looking at the device DDTs, let's select those modules and export them. Export selected to alias export one dot XSY. The XSY file is an XML file that has all of the attributes that have, uh, for each variable that have non-default values in them. We'll take a look and see what that means. So the file that we'll open here is a spreadsheet called Unity Variables Management .xlsm. This is a file that comes with Unity Pro or EcoStructure Control Expert. It's found in the extra folders, either in the start menu or on the uh, installation media, and is a macro spreadsheet that's designed to deal with these XML files that we just exported. Because this spreadsheet has macros in it, you may have to treat these differently uh, according to your IT department's rules. In Schneider, in order to use macro programs or, or files, we need to put them in a particular place or particular folder that's set aside to allow approved macro files to be run from. And so that's where I've launched this from. We've added a new group here, a menu group called XSY Management. And if I select that, we see we get new menu items. Let's go to settings first and make sure that everything is set appropriately for what we want to do. Uh, we're going to select all of the boxes except for expand EDT arrays. We don't want those um, exposed or expanded. In fact, we're not working with them at all. The live set version needs to be the same as the version of the EcoStructure Control Expert or Unity Pro that you're working with. So let's just select that from the pull down. Select OK, and now we can open our file. So let's go open that alias export1.xsy. And we'll see that this contains all of the, uh, or many of the attributes as columns uh, for each variable. It's grouped on the left, and we can see that we can expand or, or contract these groups uh, to help to uh, filter what we're looking at on the screen. And so these are the three structured variables for the three modules that I exported. What we need to work with with aliases is the name, the type, alias, and alias of. So we don't have alias and alias of. I don't need nature and address for our purposes here. So I'm going to repurpose those with the pull down to alias and alias of. So that we now have those columns. And, uh, all right. I'm also going to use the previous spreadsheet that we used for uh, our project documentation. Since we're dealing with things on an IO drop, drop one, we'll come down to that area. And let's create aliases in this spreadsheet for, oh, say, channel seven and eight of our DIO module. We won't do all of them just in the nature, in the nature, uh, in the interest of time. So let's expand this column out to where we can see everything. Come down to channel seven. We'll come over here and grab, copy that, put it over in the alias column of seven dot value. And we'll do the same thing with channel eight. So come down to eight dot value and create that. Now, if we come to the bottom, we see that there are two variables that are created. They're elementary variables, ebools, and then the alias of column shows us the source. So these tie us back to those uh, structured data variables that we created the aliases in. So this is real important. The shading here makes no difference. It's, we're going to ignore that when we save it. We can do the same thing for the discrete output in the analog. Let's take uh, one of the output channels. That is channel 0 the discrete output. So we come out to out uh, channel 
zero dot value. And we'll do the same thing for our analog input. So let's just select one from here, copy that, and come down to, in this case, it's channel two, three, and four that we're working with. So we'll come down to channel two dot ana dot value and put our alias there. There we go. And at the bottom, you'll see that we have all of these, these four uh, variables created, three e bulls and an int. We can do two things here. We can either save the sheet or save a selection of the sheet, or um, you can save aliases. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to create savedalias.xsy. And this will extract the aliases only and leave the structured data behind. And we will get this little pop-up. We hit OK. And now we can come back to Control Expert and uh, import those. So if we come to the variables in FB instances, do an import and select our alias one, uh, alias export one saved aliases file, hit import. Do we confirm that modification? Yes, we do. We don't see that anything happened necessarily, but if we go into those uh, modules and look, we should see aliases for each of the channels. So let's go to channel seven. We see an alias for the value, channel eight, an alias for the value, the DDO, channel zero. There's our alias and analog channel two. There is our alias. We can also see them if we filter for uh, EDTs or elementary data types. We go down here. We can find those aliases. They have a unique alias uh, symbol here, and we can find them along with the alias of. And we saw in the previous alias uh, video, the first one that I did, that the alias and the root dis, uh, structured variable are identical in use. And so you can certainly use the alias anywhere you want to reference these I.O. points. Now let's use the similar method to do bulk variable creation or bulk alias creation for ecostructure control expert. We'll start again with the data editor and this time we'll work with the local IO. These slots five, six, and seven have uh, structured data variables associated with them on the PLC rack. So let's select those, except we're not going to export those as a whole. What we're going to do is first create some sample uh, some sample aliases for those and we'll take our spreadsheet and for this first one on the local that's on channel eight so let's grab that we'll go down to channel eight on our discrete input module put our variable in here our alias yes we want to create that and we're going to do one for each one of these io modules here So we'll come back down here to our DO module. We'll grab this one. That's on channel 15. Oh, pardon me, channel 3. So we come over here to our DO module, channel 3. Put our alias in, create, yes. And we'll do the same thing for our analog input module. That would be on channel 0. Copy that. Come down to the analog down to the value and create an alias there. What we have done is created templates, essentially. So now if we take these three modules, right click and export the selected, just like we did before, we're going to do our local alias export though, uh, different XSY file for this. Back in our alias spreadsheet, we can open up that file, which is local alias export.xsy. And we see that uh, we should have some aliases in here. And yes, we do. Those are our example aliases from the variables we just exported. I can do a save alias for that, local alias export one. 
And now that we have that created, we can open it up. Now we see there are our three aliases here. What we need to do, and we're going to go back to our uh, engineering document here, we're going to create some others, but we're going to use these as a template. So I'm just going to grab um, a couple more here. So let's, let's uh, insert a couple of rows here. We're going to grab the next two and copy them from our engineering sheet, paste them here. It's very important that we extend the type down and then bring our um, root alias up down. And we need to increment these. These are each from different indices of our variable. I'm not going to do them all just in the interest of time here. So what I've done now is to go ahead and create the rest of these alias variables uh, with the correct variable uh, root and indis, uh, index. And then I've added comments as well here. So let's save this alias file. And we'll call that local alias export one. Save it. Let's we get this little pop-up. We can go back to control export and import these. So we come over to variables and FB instances, import, grab our file, import. And now we see there are three variables that we didn't change um, in there, except I did add comments to them. And so let's take a look at what we want to do here. We don't want to keep them. That would not use the comment. We want to replace these. So let's hit replace all and hit OK. And it's going to import the rest. Now, if we open up our local variables here and look at discrete channel eight, and if we come across here, well, there's the original comment for it, nine, 10, and so on. We look at our discrete channel out. Let's see, those started at three, four, five, and six. And then our analog inputs. And there it is. We can look at the next one as well. Okay, and the rest will be in there as well. But if we now look at the EDT view of this, we can Look at these. There are all of our aliases. There are all of our aliases of, and all of the comments have been brought in with that. So now you know how to bulk edit this. It's a simple process. If you've already got the information, it's copy and paste into the spreadsheet and then import back into Control Expert.